Welcome to another of our Behind the Scores videos featuring pieces from the, the lovely CD that Victoria did of, of, of some of my pieces. Uh, and this time I want to talk about the six Clarihue songs, uh, which I absolutely loved writing. Uh, I, I was quite a fan, I still am, but not maybe so much now, but I was really a fan of poetry um, some while ago and I, I used to read all sorts. And one particular poet absolutely caught my imagination, Edmund Clerihue Bentley. Uh, Bentley was a novelist, uh, a humorist, um, wrote detective fiction, in fact, uh, largely forgotten, but uh, um, to, to equal some of the other people around about his time, early 20th century. Um, but he wrote these wonderful Clerihues, and in fact, he created this form um, of very short verse called the Clerihues, now called the Clerihue, which is a four line stanza and uh, the, the rhyming is A-A-B-B. -B -B. And, and I love this, they're all about people. They're all biographical. Um, and so I just decided to choose six of these and create them as a set of songs for voice, clarinet and piano. Um, the very first one is actually, kind of gives you an idea of the whole kind of idea of biography. And I, I can just tell you the, the words of the first one, give you an idea of the Clary Hugh if you don't already know it. And it goes like this. The art of biography is different from geography. Geography is about maps, but biography is about chaps. And they, they all are about different, different people. Um, that's really what the, the Clary Hugh is all about. Just a little about each song. The first one is indeed a setting of that uh, poem, The Art of Biography. Uh, the second one is about Edgar Allan Poe, uh, and, and so it's, um, well, as, as you'll see from, from the words, it's, it's all rather, rather gruesome, the Edgar Allan Poe of his rather more uh, gruesome poetry. The third uh, is, is all about the, the composer and Abbe, the Abbe Liszt. Um, and, and I often quote just little references in the songs. There are two quotes you might uh, hear in the, uh, in the Liszt song. Um, one is from the, the great piano sonata in B minor, and the other is, is from, I think, the first, no, maybe the second, but one of, one of the piano concertos. They're very short, so you really have to be uh, on your guard. Uh, the third is about Handel, uh, and here I, I quote a couple of well-known Handel tunes. Again, you, you really have to be li listening out from them. The fifth is about Columbus, 
Um, and of course, it, it, the, the poem itself, um, which is rather amusing, is, is all about what exactly the shape of the earth was. Um, and so that the music itself tries to uh, portray different kinds of rather odd shapes. And the final one is, is about Hannibal. It was rather disconcerting for Hannibal to be introduced to a cannibal who expressed the very highest opinion. The first performance of uh, six Clary Hugh songs was when well, there's a rather sad end to this little bit of the tale. The first performance was, was given by uh, my friend Duncan Prescott on uh, the clarinet, who, who very tragically um, died at a, at a very young age, not long after that. Uh, the piano was being played by Scott Mitchell, um, who now teaches at the, the Royal Scottish uh, Conservatoire, um, and uh, a great friend, great pianist. And the singer was uh, the opera singer Yvonne Howard. And on uh, Victoria's excellent recording, uh, Victoria herself is, of course, playing the clarinet. Uh, the piano is Michael Bell and the singer is Karen Radcliffe. Uh, just a few words about the dedicatee. Uh, I actually dedicated it, this piece, to Nicholas Bentley. Nicholas Bentley was an extremely well-known uh, artist in his day, illustrator, really, uh, and most famously, known for his illustrations in the T.S. Eliot's book of Practical Cats, but many other things as well. Uh, and in, in fact, um, I, I sent him a copy of it um, just before he died, in fact, and, and received a lovely note back from him at the time. That was, that was wonderful. And just a little coda, and literally the coda, because we're just going to hear the, the end of the last piece. Uh, I was uh, a great fan, still am, great fan of Schubert's Shepherd on the Rock. I love the voice, clarinet and piano combination, and I've, I frequently do concerts um, with voice, clarinet and piano. And of course, one of the works that always comes in that recital is Shepherd on the Rock. Uh, if you know Shepherd on the Rock, uh, it ends with a, with a rather scary, fast clarinet solo, or clarinet with a piano after the voice is finished. Um, and so I, I wanted to, to just refer to that. And so I make a reference to, to that at the end of the final of the six Clary Hughes songs. Carthadinian. 